Why is platelet-rich plasma prolotherapy often done in conjunction with stem cell prolotherapy or bone marrow prolotherapy? Folks, a lot of folks don't realize is that uh, stem cells or bone marrow cells, uh, th those have a lot of healing properties, but it's really the growth factors that direct stem cells to do the work that stem cells need to do, like differentiate. And then those differentiated cells, they also need direction on what to do. Like what exactly do we want these differentiated cells like chondrocytes to do? Well, what you want your chondrocytes to do is lay down extracellular matrix. In other words, you want them to form good cartilage. Right? You want them to form hyaline cartilage, like normal cartilage. Cartilage that will withstand the rigors of running, jumping, walking up and down stairs. Right? So if you just inject cartilage cells and they don't do anything, like they don't make articular cartilage, they don't lay down extracellular matrix, or they lay down cartilage but it's crappy cartilage. Right? Your x-ray looks better. Wow, you've got a nice space there. Your x-ray looks better but it's crappy cartilage. It can't withstand uh, the forces of jumping, running, walking, hiking, you know, going up and down stairs. What good is it? You know, in other words, you need the cells to lay down healthy tissue that's strong. So platelet-rich plasma has factors in it, growth factors in it, that direct the stem cells, the cartilage cells, to, to do the work that they were designed to do, like lay down uh, articular cartilage.